Self-improvement is hard. We all have our shortcomings or tasks we want to be good at. Nobody likes a person with no self-control or management skills. Being aware of one's weaknesses is one thing, but improving on those is another. It's not just your own life that depends on your merit, but also those around you. It would be a shame if your relations got strained because you are incapable of controlling yourself. In that regard, there are people with the self-determination to make changes in their behavior and those who need a helping hand. That brings us to today's subject, SCP-442, Object Class, Euclid, Special Containment Procedures. SCP-442 is to be kept away from its current owner in a secure container until being used for testing. The current owner must have a will leaving SCP-442 to a D-Class personnel. In return, the current owner is granted suspension from termination. Should the D-Class listed in the current owner's will be terminated or otherwise invalidated for ownership of SCP-442, a new will is to be written at the next available opportunity. Description SCP-442 is a gold-plated pocket watch, 3 cm in diameter, with hands showing the hour and minutes. Along the edge of the watch there is an inscription, which reads, To my good friend, a helping hand. While no apparent seams allowing SCP-442 to be opened without damaging it, scans of the interior of SCP-442 have revealed nothing unusual in its workings. As long as SCP-442 is wound, it will set itself to the correct time. Crossing time zones or winding SCP-442 while it displays an incorrect time results SCP-442 making rapid motions to adjust itself. The owner of SCP-442 is granted an intrinsic knowledge of the time and can recite the precise time at an arbitrary precision as long as SCP-442 is on his or her person. Additionally, the owner of SCP-442 will never be late as long as the watch remains wound and is on their person. Attempts to force the owner to be late have never succeeded while SCP-442 is wound. When SCP-442 is left unwound or removed from the owner's person, the owner will be incapable of being on time. The severity of incidents causing the subject to be late increases as SCP-442 is left unattended, invariably becoming fatal within a week. Ownership of SCP-442 passes through normal means and can be sold or gifted to another party. SCP-442 has never been left unowned. Death of the previous owner results in SCP-442 instantly transferring to a new owner. A will leaving SCP-442 to somebody close to the previous owner upon their death has never failed to surface. Attempts to prevent a will from coming into being have met with the same failure as attempts to make the owner of SCP-442 be late. The new owner is instantly aware of the existence of SCP-442 and is drawn to it, although the effects of owning the watch only manifest after initial contact with SCP-442. SCP-442 was brought into Foundation custody by a junior technician working on Site-19 when he inherited it as a family heirloom. Periods 
noticed an immediate change in his work habits after he received SCP-442. Had a prior reputation for his lack of time management skills and was regularly written up for being late to his station. When questioned by Dr. K showed SCP-442 to Dr. K and said it was a lucky charm. He told Dr. K pieces of family lore attached to SCP-442 which later experimentation would reveal to be mostly true. Testing was performed to confirm SCP's status, after which its history of harmlessness was cited and K was allowed to maintain possession of SCP-442 on the condition he willed it to the Foundation on his death. K was subject to observation and regular psychological evaluation during his possession of SCP-442, during which further effects of SCP-442 were discovered. Extended ownership of SCP-442 slowly rewrites the subject's personality. Within two years, regardless of previous attitudes, the owner exhibits unusual high self-control and reacts to situations in a timely manner. Motor control increased dramatically during this period, scoring in the 99th percentile of every test at the two-year mark. During the same time, the owner will become increasingly annoyed at tardiness. Broke ties with several friends over increasingly small infractions. After a decade of owning SCP-442, had completely changed. While displayed a level of professionalism commendable by any members of the SCP staff, his private life had suffered tremendously unable to tolerate tardiness, pushed away all of his friends and had been diagnosed with clinical depression. After committed suicide, O5 reported ownership and had it transferred to him. A D-class personnel was then chosen for experimentation and was given SCP-442. That was it for this presentation. Now, the SCP Foundation is trying to stop us from disclosing their files to the public. So if you don't want to miss any of our new releases, don't forget to press the bell button and select all notifications, so you won't have to miss anything. Thank you very much.